Hey guys, have you seen those beautiful lights on an airplane in the dark and wonder why there are so many lights on it? Where in contrast, our cars just have a headlight and a tail light and indicators of course. Well, I might have an answer to your exciting question. So let's get started. Now, a regular passenger aircraft, for example, the Boeing 777 mainly has about 9 lights and each light installed has its own individual role to play. The first set of lights are the navigation lights which are located at the leading edge of the wingtip. These are red and green in color and denote the port wing or the left wing and the starboard wing or the right wing respectively. The navigation lights of a particular aircraft can thereby determine which wing is the starboard wing and which one is the port wing and also determine the direction of flying which is of help to other pilots and their aircraft. In relation to navigation lights, we have the position lights which are located at the trailing edge of the wingtip tip of the horizontal tail and top of the vertical tail. These are white or yellowish in color and their sole objective is to increase the visibility of the aircraft from behind. In commercial airplanes, in most cases, these lights are turned on after electrical power is up. Now we have the strobe lights which are located at the wing tip and sometimes even at the back end of the fuselage. As seen in this video, these lights are white in color and they blink constantly. These lights are used when the aircraft is ready for takeoff and remains on till the aircraft has reached its destination and left the runway of the destination airport. Next comes the beacon lights which are commonly known as the anti-collision lights and are located on the upper part, part of the fuselage. These lights are red in color and they also blink in regular intervals. These lights on the aircraft indicate that the engine is in the running condition and the aircraft will soon be in motion or is already in motion. Next we have the logo lights which are located at the tip or on the surface of the horizontal tail which is also known as the horizontal stabilizer. These are white lights and as the name says are used for illumination of the logo which is there on the vertical tail or the vertical stabilizer. Now comes the wing lights which are located at the leading edge of the wing root. These again are white lights and are used for illumination of the wings, engines and pylons which are used to join the engine with the wing. These lights typically help when taking off or landing during night hours and also help to inspect the engine's wings when under maintenance or visual inspection. Next we have the wheel well lights which are located on the nose and main landing gear of the aircraft. These lights are yellowish in color and are used for inspecting the landing gear when inspection needs to be carried out during night hours, obviously. Now coming to the runway turn off lights, which are located at the nose landing gear or sometimes at leading edge of the wing root. These are white lights and provide side and forward lighting while the aircraft is taxing or when the aircraft has just landed and left the runway and thus provides better visibility. Next, we have the taxi lights which are located at the nose landing gear of the aircraft. These lights are white or yellowish in color. As the name says, they are typically used when the aircraft is taxing for takeoff or taxing to the gate for parking. Now, last one, the landing lights which are located at the leading edge of the wing route which are white or yellowish in color. These are the brightest lights and as the name says, they are used during the landing approach or when the aircraft is ready on the runway for takeoff. Too many lights, right? So here's a summary picture for you all which should make you comfortable with aircraft lights. So basically, we learned that each light has a specific role to play and if any one of them is not functional, it can be potentially dangerous. Maybe that's why we call these airplanes as an example of marvelous engineering. And next time when you're on board an aircraft, you'll have the idea of each and every light and would be able to see them, provided you're sitting on the window side.